Hi folks, Aaron here. Welcome back to the Anime Review. Today we're looking at episode 14 of the Ancient Magus Pride, which... Woo! I, cr I cried a little bit. I didn't cry a lot, but I legit got a little bit of tears in my eyes for that. This week's episode was intense. I should not keep saying that about this show. I should not have to say it every week like, Oh man, this episode was so emotional. That episode was... Every episode of the Ancient Magus Pride is emotional, but... It's like, holy crap. Oh my god. So... Let's talk about what happened, though, essentially. So we had the very beginning uh, focus on Chise turning into that fox because of that guy that existed at the beginning of time. And if I had any gripes with it, I, this, whole, this whole episode, the only gripe I have with is with that scene alone. I think they resolved that way too fast. Like, I understand what the point of it was, but at the same time, it was just unnecessary, felt like, in many ways. So, you know, they're trying to say, oh, you know, uh, Chise is a free-spirited animal inside, and she, she wants to find her place in the world she's trying to look for it so she keeps running and thus she, she goes in the deeper parts of the forest to escape to you know finally figure out where she belongs and as the guy says if she wants to come home she'll come home but you know elias and, and uh, ruth were not willing to do that so they went in and, and chased her after her, and they found her reverted her back to a human being because they were showing that hey you know they need a place and as elias once again said which every time he says this chise and the fact that chise responds always gets to me where he goes, without you, it's cold. And, and you know, I, I don't like the cold. And, and she goes, yeah, no, no, I don't like the cold either. I'm like, ah, you guys. I, I need these two to end up together. If I if these two do not end up together, the show doesn't get a perfect score for me. I'm being honest with you guys and girls. It, it will go from a... Because right now, I'll be honest with you, it, it's an A+. Plus. The, the Ancient Magus Pride to me is a perfect show right now. It, it's been that way since the beginning. I, I think there's maybe only one episode maybe that was okay and the rest have been... Just amazing. But if they don't have together, I swear, this show will go from an A plus to like an A minus if possible. Like, I need them to end up together. And I hope I'm not alone. Please sound off in the comments below if you feel like that too. Because, like, legit, Elias and Chisa are perfect together to me. I don't care what Elias is, I don't care what Chisa is. They work so well together in terms of romance. It's just like, I want them to be a couple. So bad. <laughs> Anyways, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. But the second part of the episode, really, the ma majority of the focus was um, Lena Slide comes to um, Chise because Joel doesn't wake up and kind of begs her to help him somehow. And really, they, she can't do it. He, Joel is, is reaching the end of his life. He's he's an old man, obviously. Um, but what Chise ends up doing for her is, you know, she knows that uh, Lena Slide wants to see Joel at least and wants Joel to see her back at least once. So she uses an ancient forbidden magic that makes this liquor, or I would say liquid, that shows on, um, that you put on the eyes, apparently, and it will help you see what humans can't see. It gives them that, that perception that we don't have. And I, I give her credit, she stayed for four days straight because she knew that it had to be a set, uh, set up on a straight way. Apparently, if it was moved around too much or anything like that, the liquid would not work and stuff like that, but she did it anyways, and lo and behold, was able to grant uh, Joel and Lennon slide this kind of one great moment that actually did make me cry a little bit where they finally talk to one another and he, he I, I loved his line where he goes to her and says you know I, I know my wife's waiting for me at the end of at the end of my life and I want to go by her side and hopefully I get to go by her side but he goes I will go by your side too because you know you were there for me and the fact that you know I think I, I think Joel originally like he said he did see her at one point he, I don't know if it was for how long but he had the perception of her being there and it was what kept him going because, as he said, he's, his life after his his wife's death was basically going off inertia. Which, if in case you guys didn't really understand that, it's meant to just say that like he was just living day by day by day. You know, he was just going through the motions of life without really true meaning, without true happiness. And I, I understand that feeling. That that's a that's a feeling that you can get very easily when something goes horribly wrong in your life, and you're left with this kind of I want to say. You know, almost like a void of sorts, but even beyond that, it's just the the feeling of like you're just going through life because you don't want to give up on life. You don't want to say, "Oh no, I'm done." You know, that's it. No, but you want to make it so you just keep going through the phases of life, and that's that's not a way to life to live life either. So, you know, folks, if you ever feel like that, you know, make sure to talk to friends or make sure to talk to people in general. It, it's definitely something that will lead you up inside it. It makes you kind of, I want to say, just a darker person for it. So don't don't let yourself fall into that too long, too long. But you know, I do know that I do know several people that have this happening to them at this very second. It's very hard to deal with it, but it's something that as long as you keep talking to that person, as long as they know someone's there for them, as Joel felt with Lenny Slide, it's bearable, you know? But I will say that 
the the powerful emotions for that was so incredible. And then the the ending, which that ending took me by surprise for the fact that Chise then started coughing up blood because her ring broke and you know her power. I guess she was doing that that ancient magic, so it may, it must have tried to keep her awake as long as it could, but also put a lot of strain in her body. It's gonna be interesting next week. I'm very curious what's gonna happen next week. Anyways, what did you guys think about this week's episode? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. As always, guys and girls, please hit the like button, subscribe button if you haven't already, and share the video around. And, you know, hey, check out my Patreon for various awards, etc. I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. God bless you all. Have a great day, everyone. Uh, one more review will be out today. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Oh, besides March Come Luck Line, I'll have something else out too. So I'll talk to you guys then. Bye-bye, everyone.